dudes, how's it going? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Tactics second banner. A lot of you guys have asked me which banner is better between 1 and 2. I'll give you my personal opinion on 2 and give you a little bit of a summary at the end. So let's go through the relics first is Chaos Springer with Gafgarion. I think that's how you say it. Deal 8. Just notice that at that um, icon looks exactly the same as Hello Bolt. The one that Agrius has except purple slash pink. Deal 8 physical dark and not elemental attacks to one target. Temporarily infuse the user with the power of dark. Obviously this guy's evil, so of course dark would suit him. Burst abilities deal 2 physical dark and non elemental attacks to one target. Restore one ability use to the ability with the fewest remaining uses. I guess it's pretty decent if you're bringing pretty low hones on a really high level skill. The second one is Bloodblade. Deal physical dark and non elemental attacks to all targets. Restore a small amount of HP to a single ally proportional to their max HP. Okay, so another drainish type ability. Yeah, I reckon it's. I'd say average BSB. I don't really see how this will be outstanding compared to like Orlando's BSB. I think Orlando is probably better but it does have end dark and obviously this guy can use i think it's darkness 4 so <clears throat> you can exploit that at least so yeah it's okay rune blade this one is the relic that a lot of people are chasing actually synergy bonuses to fire and lightning pretty nice this one is very multi-use where you have holy fire lightning and ice that's absolutely insane. To random targets, grant haste and burst mode to the user. Critical hits deal additional damage. So you have to set up your party to do critical hits. Putting in Zell's pretty nice. Putting in Ico's pretty nice. And I believe he does have just an all cell break, which increases critical as well. I think it's on this list as well. Burst abilities deal four physical holy and fire attacks to one target. Critical hits deal additional damage. Yeah, pretty weird how you have to set up your party to do critical hits so it will be mainly physical based parties not hybrid based not yeah when you're setting up the party with him in it ice bolt wave deal four physical ice and lightning attacks on target critical hits deal additional damage okay i think it's i don't know how much additional damage it actually does apparently it's plus 50 percent so yeah pretty nice Iger Blade. This one has come up for well, I think the third or fourth time. 128 attack, probably third. I've seen it a lot in lucky draws. Deal five physical holy attacks to all targets, temporarily raise the users not the users, parties defense a large amount and grant haste and burst mode to the user, best abilities. Deal two physical holy attacks to one target dispel it. So banishing times two. Steal charge uh allies soul break gauge a small amount. Um, with all the super soul breaks that Ramza has, I don't really see myself using this unless you're going really, really offensive, which I have seen Ramza do, like with Ultima, but other than that, there's not much use for the buffing effects. I guess defense a large amount is okay, but like with all these other Genji gloves and stuff and shouts, I don't really see myself using that too often. Gafgarion Shell, this one is pretty interesting. Deal 4 physical dark and non elemental attacks to all targets. Restore 1 ability use to each ally. I guess it's a pretty decent effect. I've obviously had vanilla in my party in multiplayer use this ability, and I've had 6 star abilities equipped it on myself. So when she used this, I was like, oh, this effect? I was like, yes, hell yes, can use it again. But every other time when I'm using 4 star abilities, obviously it's pretty negligible so in the end it's basically deal for physical dark and non-elemental attacks so you have to kind of set up your party again to actually use this effect genji gloves good stats of course temporarily raise the critical hit damage of all allies and grant them barrier that negates attack damage up to 30 percent of their max hp Ooh, stone skin i don't know man there's just so many 
It's weird, right? If you get Genji gloves and you get this burst soul break. Makes things a little bit interesting. Uh, you have to set up your party, but I guess it's pretty decent with this alone. So if you're not obviously getting the BSP and specifically the Genji gloves, it is pretty decent. You'll probably have to set up so Rams is constantly using soul breaks to buff up your party. Say if you have Shout and this, but yeah, pretty good. Platinum Sword, of course, the relic that everyone used to want, pretty damn godlike. As usual, temporarily raise the party's attack a large amount and grant them haste. Definitely a really good relic. 50% attack, nothing to laugh about. Coral Sword, this one's actually pretty decent support. 127 attack, deal 4 range, physical attacks to all target, temporarily lower their attack a large amount. So it is pretty good when dealing with a lot of enemies. It isn't like magic and attack, so it obviously doesn't a stack doesn't a stack doesn't stack with power breakdown so you just need to keep that in mind but yeah pretty okay relic grand armor tailwind i've seen this do so much heals before like 2k heal absolutely insane heal but it's just way too many like effects that you kind of need to use straight away with ramza but it does help you if you are in trouble so it is like a relic for the side ish like for a side effect Maximilian, great, yeah, this was the one I was talking about. Greatly raise the party's critical hit chance and enable each ally to avoid one physical attack. So, yeah, this obviously combines with his BSB and all that stuff. So, let's do the 100 gem draw here. I'm not really hoping for anything specific, to be honest. And I just noticed I have Orlando's cloak in, like, the sidebar. Oh my gosh, I got a 5 star! Hey, I got Genji Gloves! Nice! I need to change that, actually. I hope you guys actually forgive me. Look at that, man! That's pretty fucking cool! Genji Gloves! My second relic for Ramza. Absolutely awesome. I probably can use it for this event, actually. Definitely helps with the negate attack damage. Definitely need, like, more negate. Mitigation. <laughs> Mitigation, I mean. Um, let me just change that. Otherwise, yeah. Really, really cool. Lock that straight away. Forgive me, guys. Please forgive me. Relics on correct on the sidebar. There we go. Now it's better. <laughs> Definitely awesome. Really cool to get Rams' gloves. Definitely really good with stats as well. One more thing I forgot to mention is which banner is better. I personally believe banner 1 is better. Um, the banner kind of has a lot of uses. Like, say, obviously if you have a lot of these relics, but yeah, a lot of these relics are pretty decent. Even the normal soul breaks like Kaiser Shield is really cool to have. And, of course, all the buffing abilities is really nice. Excalibur, a lot of people are chasing, of course. Slambert Hat. They're all really good buffing effects. Mithril Gun is still really good because it's, like, comparable to Irvine. So, yeah, really, really cool relics. So, I really think, at the end, Banner 1 is better. There is a lot of use for this one. If you don't have Platinum Sword, I'd consider Banner 2, to be honest. But, yeah, there's a lot of iffy effects like the critical hit chance which you'll only be able to use in a physical party specifically so you just need to keep that in mind but yeah ultimately i think banner one is better of course orlando's osb is definitely awesome to have but yeah a lot of people have been chasing that one and it does come back in the future anyway so just keep that in mind as well might as well look on which t i mean when the tactics banner does return and all the relics on it see which one See which relics copy itself to the next banner. That's what I always look out for as well. Anyway, see you guys.